everybody, this is Mandy with Mandy's Adventures. Well, this vlog is um, a flight that I took back in January and I was going from Great Falls to San Francisco, San Francisco back again to Great Falls in the same day. And it was one degree outside and it was really, really cold. Anyway, the flight was not busy. I looked around the flight, everything was good. And as we're still backing up, um, I noticed that a truck had come out to the plane. And I'm looking at that truck and I'm thinking, I've seen that kind of truck before. And all of a sudden the guy or girl that is in it is getting closer and closer. And then there was like a fire hose on it. And then it dawned on me that it is a de-icing truck. And what it is, is when they see frost or ice on the wing, then they go ahead and they de-ice the plane to get that off. And the plane has so much time before it takes off, but it stops the plane from freezing up. And um, yeah, that is pretty scary. I'll be honest with you. Um, I did panic a bit. I'm looking out, putting more gum in my mouth and trying to <laughs> divert my mind somewhere else. And I thought, well, blimey, I can't get out. It's too late now. And um, and if I stop this plane, there's going to be a lot of people at 5.30 in the morning really mad at me. And I just prayed. That's what I did as I prayed. And I'm like, okay, they know what they're doing. This happens all the time. Hello, I live in Montana. It's always cold. We're going to be just fine. Anyway, I brought myself back to reality again. Um, as you can see, when they de-ice the plane, they do the wings, they do the top of the plane, they do the windows, they do everything. So as I'm looking out the, the rest of the plane, everything has like um, water on it. And um, I, right now I'm starting to feel comfortable. As you can see on the other side of that window, um, the de-ice has already gone over to the other side of the plane. and. Um, I still have to keep looking around just to make sure everything is okay and like no one's panicking um, and then we start to slowly move um, down the runway and um, it's still going and I'm thinking well everything must be okay um, we're still moving down here but no once again I have to look around the cabin. You can tell some of these people have taken this flight uh, a lot because they're like in business suits and stuff. So they're probably going for um, meetings and that. So this is this is like old hat to them. So who's gonna know whether there's anything wrong with the plane, right? These people. So anyway, I sit back, relax, and um, and I just let the pilot do their job gosh you guys like I would know whether the pilot is doing right or wrong or not but all I know is that I keep hearing those engines revving up we're still slowly going down the runway and um, and then I'm thinking to myself okay I've taken this flight a number of times or flown out of Great Falls Airport a number of times that they do taxi out and then um, they go to head towards the main runway and I know that as soon as we make a turn which we are doing um, then I know that the pilot is getting ready to taxi off down this runway oh here we are we're building up the momentum and we are racing down the runway I cannot tell you guys the things that are running through my mind that I've literally got both of my feet planted <laughs> on the floor and I've made sure that my seat belt is really tight. I mean, isn't it funny what things go through your mind when things like this happen? But again, they know what they're doing and I'm looking at the window and the, uh, the water or the de-ice or whatever it is is starting to run off the window now. But um, I seriously am starting to feel more comfortable and I know I've got to be quiet because these days you make one peep and uh, Ah, they'll turn the plane around and I know that I could not do that. Just debrief and just think happy thoughts. So after a while I've been in the air for like half an hour, you see the stewardess and she's coming around with like cookies and um, coffee and drinks and soda and water. And so I know everything is fine now. So honest guys, I'm really am relaxed. 
the window is really cleared up now when you look out of there and look at that beautiful sunrise. I mean, seriously, I could honestly stay up in the air all day, forget all your problems and just fly around this country all day. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. And then when I look down, I'm flying into uh, Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, look at those lights. I mean, it's right now it's it's about I'd say it's about six thirty in the morning, and um, the city is just coming alive. So, uh, what an eventful morning, eh? But um, so I just sit back, relax, and enjoy the view. Fly early in the morning like I am on this flight or I love to fly at night and um, when the plane turns like this and you see the city it's absolutely beautiful if you guys ever fly to like San Francisco or New York or uh, London England even um, before you book your flight check to see what side like Tower Bridge is gonna be on Statue of Liberty or Golden Gate Bridge you really do see some beautiful, beautiful sights there. See if you can take advantage of that, especially if you are well, flying at the, in, in the morning Utah, or at right night. Now. So we're starting to circle around Salt Lake City, Utah. So I know we're getting close. Look at that window. It's clear. That just tells you how fast the weather changes, whether you're in the air or on the ground. That's for sure. Um, so now we are coming in for a landing. I have to remind you, make sure that you are chewing gum when you land in an airplane and when you take off. It really does help the ears. If you landed, if you liked this vlog, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe for, for beautiful adventures that is coming your way, you guys. Um, pilot good job on this flight i really did enjoy it, even though it was um a bit now biting in the beginning but i uh, finally got through it it is our pleasure to welcome you to salt lake city where the local time is 702. take care love one another until our next adventure, I'll see you all again soon. Take care, everybody, and thanks for coming on this adventure with me. Bye!